NHK ワールドラジオ日本 NHK の国際放送ですこの後日本時間の午後12時からも日本語の放送をお送りします午後12時からの日本語放送はアジア大陸向けの15分195メガヘル東南アジア向けの17分100メガヘルアジア向けの17分メガヘルと中東北アフリカ向けの 9.490MHz 西米向けの 6.105MHz 以上の周波数でお伝えしますこちらは NHK ワールドラジオ日本 NHK の国際放送です
Zionism. Right, OK. Uh, the Artar Zerubavel, an Israeli-born sociologist and professor at Rutgers University, has written a number of books on the standardization of time. I have here his book, The Seven-Day Circle, The History and Meaning of the Week. Mm -hmm. So could you just take a look at that there? Yeah. I've got it there for you. Thank so you. would you please just read the highlighted quote there? It's on page 46. OK. The decline of the eight-day week coincided with the expansion of Rome, the astrological, planetary, and Christian seven-day weeks that had just been introduced into Rome were also becoming increasingly popular. There's evidence indicating that the Roman eight-day week and those two seven-day cycles were used simultaneously for some time. Notice Zerubbabel distinguishes between the planetary seven-day week and the Christian or biblical seven-day week. Okay, mm. go on. Okay. However, the coexistence of two weekly rhythms that were entirely out of phase with one another, obviously, could not be sustained for long. One of them clearly had to give way. As we all know, it was the eight-day week that soon... <laughs> Awesome, and uh, we'll try to start doing more of these videos again soon. See you guys later.